Hi and welcome to the second video on premature ejaculation. What are the treatment modalities for premature ejaculation? I enumerated them. Now I will talk in detail. The first one is medical therapy, that is tablets. So what the medical therapy aims at is to act centrally and raise serotonin levels in the brain. The serotonin levels are very important for uh, uh, ejaculation. If the serotonin levels are low, it can lead to premature ejaculation. If serotonin levels are raised, it delays ejaculation and hence can form the basis of treatment. These tablets can be either taken daily if the frequency of intercourse is more or they can be taken on demand whenever required. There are different different drugs with the different actions and different duration of actions. So appropriate counseling and appropriate drug selection as per the patient and couple is very important for success of medical therapy. These drugs mind you have certain side effects and these side effects are not very severe but one, if one is aware of how to overcome them or if one is aware in that in a particular couple certain group of side effects can be avoided or in a particular male then these can be circumvented. So these side effects can be drowsiness, sleepiness and these sometimes these drugs have addictive properties in the sense not all of them a few of them and if these are taken for a prolonged period of time and once they are stopped they can have withdrawal that means they, they can have withdrawal symptoms and you might want the need to take the tablets even when it is not required so one has to be cautious in their use and use them judiciously and only after prescription by an expert or an neurologist very important word of caution is some of these drugs which raise the serotonin levels in the brain can cause suicidal tendencies and hence the dosage and the dosage, the timing of taking them and the patients who can take them is very important. Someone who already has had depression in the past should definitely avoid this group of drugs. So the different compounds, there is clomipramine, just to name them clomipramine, there is sertraline, and there is proxetine so these drugs have different dosages some of them can be used on demand some of them can be used daily on demand dosing can be from two to six hours prior to intercourse and daily dosing has to be taken at a particular time according to the drug and you have to monitor for the side effects and make sure it is taken only after prescription and if one is taking daily therapy definitely there is increased chances of withdrawal withdrawal and hence the therapy has to be tailored for every patient so then after the oral therapy next option is topical therapy topical means the glands there are certain sprays which come there are certain creams which come these have to be applied to the glands and then they have to be washed off at a particular time and proper instructions for their use are very important if too much drug is used for in this topical therapy that is local application if too much drug is used it will cause anesthesia of the glands and therefore there will be no sensations during intercourse it will be like a dead intercourse and even the wife will not feel anything if too much drug is applied and not used appropriately and when used appropriately definitely it can benefit by delaying the time as it decreases the sensations of the nerves and hence de it delays it ejaculation so there's topical therapy there are multiple options that the, the andrologist should select according to the patient and after a certain trial and error with the couple trying few things and counseling as to because not only topical therapy topical with oral and with behavioral modification can help then there is behavioral modification which includes start stop therapy squeeze therapy and certain exercises which strengthens the pelvic floor voluntarily uh, pelvic floor and the muscles in that area which when activated can help a man to control these muscles and control ejaculation to a certain extent these require these require training of these muscles over a period of time and is achieved over a period of time till it is achieved in that way the medications can help till the muscles become strong and they can be controlled so then this is the behavioral therapy and after this behavioral therapy also there is another aspect to the psychosexual therapy psychosexual therapy involves sensate focus where we start from square one we start with we start with focusing on a particular object and then focusing on your partner with non non genital touching non judgmental non genital touching followed by genital non intercourse touching and later further progressing to intercourse in a natural manner over a period of time so that the anxiety level between the couple 
reduces and this can lead to solving of the problem not in all couples in certain couples who have had a psychological problem or who have increased anxiety as deemed by the by the expert these therapies also can be applied and when used in conjunction with the behavioral therapy and with the medications and topical therapy this can be very effective and can change change the sexual life of a couple and the and especially of the male because he gets really stressed thinking that he is incapable of intercourse and this can lead to problems at work in life and this can all be solved if help is seeked for is very common problem and therefore help should be asked for and they should approach an neurologist another thing is changing sexual positions can also help because so certain positions the stimulation to the penetration glands is more while in others it is not so this has to be discussed in a in detail in a private in a in a private setup with first interviewing of the male and then of the female and then of the partner together to look sort look out for problems which might have triggered something and if these are sorted it can, the treatment can be successful so this was the second video on treatment of premature ejaculation i hope it was informative any queries can be put in the comment section and and if there someone wants to look into the details they can look into the website which is there in the description and like and subscribe the channel and i'll be putting more videos on different topics ahead thank you